Thank you, Chair. Mr. Commissioner, dear colleagues, let me start by congratulating my colleague Frederick for her report and for the great work accomplished to come up today with solid compromises on this dossier. The proposal presented by the Commission aimed at ensuring a high level of consumer protection in relation to foods for infants and young children and to foods for special medical purposes, and I believe that the Parliament position today significantly contributes to and strengthen this initial objective. I notably welcome the fact that substitute meals replacing all or part of persons' daily food intake continue to be the subject of specific legislation, thus ensuring a stricter control over the composition of such food and safeguarding the consumer interest when it comes to health and nutrition claims. Growing up milk and milk intended for young children have been a key point of our discussion in committee and still today ahead of the plenary vote. All issues at stake can probably not be addressed through this piece of legislation only, and I therefore very much welcome the inclusion of a request to the Commission to further assess the status of these products and to evaluate the need for specific legislation, notably for milks intended for children between 12 and 36 months. It is in the interest of all consumers, the interest of children and their mothers, to ensure strict and safe composition rules, but also to guarantee the highest level of accuracy and trust when it comes to com uh, communication made on these products. The health of infants and children come first and should be before the interest of production and marketing. Thank you. Thank you.